Hello and welcome back to this video series on setting up my metadata driven processing framework for Azure Data Factory in your own environment. In this video, part five, we're going to look at publishing the Azure functions to the Azure Function app that we deployed in the second video. So if we come back to Visual Studio, just to keep following the deployment steps, we're now focused on number nine, publishing those functions. Now, we've got a few different options and uh, you know we can take a few shortcuts here if we like, if we wanted to do this. Um, one option could be that if we wanted to go to the Azure portal and if we go to the functions app that we set up, what we could do here is actually download a published profile, which if we do that and just have a look at that file in, in Notepad, for example, we get um, a bit of XML that then tells Visual Studio everything that we need um, to use to actually deploy those functions from the, the solution to the, the functions app that we've got in Azure. So we could do that if we wanted. Um, and then what we could do is if we go to Visual Studio um, and we go to the Functions app, what I'm going to do firstly is just you know, build it to make sure that we're happy, to make sure that we have all the, the NuGet packages and things. Um, what I might also do is maybe run this. If you've got the Functions extension installed, you get quite a nice local um, debug environment for the functions. I've just remembered something that I've not done. So again, uh, not rehearsed here. We're just kind of exploring and going through this perhaps as, as you, you're doing for the first time. Um, so although the functions have run, there's actually something that's missing here. Um, and that's the email alert settings um, that you would add to your, your local app settings if you've got this um, set up. What we might do is um, probably come back to that. I'm going to say for now that we're not going to worry about the email alerting and I don't actually need to create that local settings file for, um, for this application. I just want to publish it to Azure. So what we can do is from Visual Studio, we can hit publish. And then it will come up with this wizard and kind of take us through um, where we want to publish it. Now you'll see that the fourth option here is to upload a published profile. So if we do that, that's going to ask me where are your public settings. And, and those are the published settings that I downloaded just when we we're in the Azure portal. So, you know, you could do that and um, it'll make things uh, easy for you. That's one approach. What I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to assume that um, we're not going to do that. We're going to talk to our Azure tenant and we're going to let Visual Studio figure it out. So I'm going to choose option, option one in this case. So I'm going to say, yes, I want a Azure function app that is using Windows. And then it's going to use the credentials that I've got set up in, in my account settings for Visual Studio. It's going to see that I have this, this free trial subscription. And then it's going to ask me, you know, how do I want to view these things? I say by resource group. Um, of course, we only have one resource group in this Azure environment, so fairly easy. And it recognizes that the Azure Functions app is already there that we already deployed. So I'm going to say, yes, that's fine. Use that. It's using that consumption plan. And then I can just hit finish. So that will set up then the, the published profile that I've then got local to Visual Studio. So that then gives me everything we need. So I can work on this, I can build it, and then I can hit publish using this uh, setup that we just created. So after finish, I can then actually do the actual publish now. And this is where it will go through the motions of, of building the project again, and then actually pushing that compiled code up to the Azure Functions app, he says. Publishing. So you see it's got the functions URL. It knows about it from that profile. 
build succeeded, publish succeeded, all good. So if we go back to our Azure portal, and if we now look at the functions that are in here, give it a few moments to refresh. There we go. We now have all of the functions that were in Visual Studio. So these bits of C-sharp code here, they've now been published to that functions app in the Azure portal directly. So four functions to execute the pipeline, check the pipeline status, get the activity area details and, and send those emails. But of course the, the app settings weren't deployed there. So that send emails function won't work at the moment. We'll cover that in a later video. But that does now conclude um, part five. So we've published our database in the previous one. We've now published our Azure functions. That, so that covers off steps eight and nine. I hope you can join me again for the next one. Thank you.